Hi guys, the project today is a flight seat. Yeah, we are building a new prototype. Uh, we already made a video a, couple, a little bit ago, but we have some new ideas and as always, we are always try to improve our products, have new ideas if we have a new idea and we don't, we always want to be the best thing uh, and do not sell crap. So, uh, just watch us, uh, we are not sure if it will work out, but um, today is experimental day, so we are trying something new. Have fun! So this is the first prototype for the left throttle mount. We have a joystick plate here at the moment for the Warsaw joystick, but just imagine it's a Warsaw throttle plate. Uh, these plates are normally on our table mounts, but we want to reuse them on our flight seats. So you have the same adjustability right now that you can, uh, well, that the plates have for the Warsaw joystick plate that you can angle the joystick and all this stuff. Watch our joystick throttle table mount videos for that. Um, we are uh, ordering a Sparco seat uh, today, so we have a full flight seat ready to test out and everything. So let's take a look at the construction we did here. Uh, we are using an 80, uh, 80 profile that extends from the 
mount of the racing seat. Uh, this part is extremely strong, so the 8080 um, is very tight here. And we are using these uh, two corner brackets with levers, so everything is adjustable by hand. Here we have the normal joystick or throttle mount, and the top part is just to lay your arms on, so you are having just a, like, a, like an armchair. And you can comf comfortably rest your arm uh, and control the joystick or throttle. And the cool thing about these profiles and uh, in general about the construction is that everything is adjustable. If you have your arm here, you can see that you can adjust the height of the joystick or throttle um, as much as you want. You can make it more, you can put it more down or more up. Um, and if the whole construction is too high for you, you just have to loosen these two levers. Wer hat die denn hier so fest gemacht? Das kann doch nur der Mark gewesen sein. And just lower them a bit. So if you're really tiny, you can make them like these. And just normally tightened, they're already really strong again. So everything is adjustable as you need it. I think it's a very cool uh, construction and I forgot one thing. If you are having extremely long arms or whatever, you can actually adjust the armrest to the front, to the back, what you need, fix it and everything is adjustable. That's what we want and everything is really strong. That's what we want too. So we are waiting for the new chair, then we will uh, check again if all the lengths are correct, if we need um, the profile that goes uh, from, up to, uh, from down to up here, this at 80 by 40 profile, maybe it set has to be a bit longer, so uh, it's perfectly adjustable for people of every size and height. And yeah, and after that we will continue evolving the flight seat. We still want uh, to make a real Star Citizen flight seat, so you not only have the um, controls for joystick and throttle, we also want center mounting and um, we want a really good placement for the keyboard and mouse, because as you know in Star Citizen or some other new space games, uh, you have to have immediate switchable positions for Hotas and keyboard and mouse. Here we are unpackaging our new Sparco R100 racing seat. Beautiful, Mark. Beautiful. Okay. Aha. 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 <laughs> that's the Sparko with it. <laughs> yeah, that's the Sparko R100. Uh, it cost about 
um, I think about 300 euros. Mm. We would use it for our flight seat, of course, which we will uh, building very soon again. Whatever. Our English is just so good. And this is a seat slider that will go under the seat. So you can move the, uh, the seat back and forth. So let's assemble it! Avengers assemble! Now we have to align the front hole of the sliders to the profile. Uh, looks good. So the seat is attached now with the sliders. And that went very well, I have to say. So now the first seating test. Sit down, please. I hope you don't get to It's okay? These are actually the same mounting plates as for our joystick table holder, uh, joystick holders table mounts. This is a Warsock plate and the cool thing is that the Warsock is angle adjustable. So you can fixate it at every point that you wish. For us it's really important that the Side mounts for the joystick and for the throttle are adjustable in every direction. And at the moment we are just checking how the how what's the best standard.
positioning. So we probably want a little bit of an angle to the right for the joystick. So as you can see this is our first uh, design for the new HOTAS and joystick mount. Um, as I said before, the joystick is angle adjustable and the complete mount is adjustable in height here. It's also adjustable in width, so maybe you are you, you want a, bit, a little bit more space to the right or you want it a bit smaller to the inside. That's adjustable over these two grips here. And as you can see you have quite a bit of range where you can adjust it. But I think the inside position is pretty good like this for me. Yeah, this has to go a little bit more to the back. That's also possible because this 80 by 80 aluminum profile piece is fixated with screws here. You can loosen them and put it a bit more to the back. That, but we have to do this now. Yeah. <laughs> place now. Here we have our universal pedal mounts. They have these uh, long holes so uh, they are compatible for all different pedals, for racing pedals or flight pedals. Um, we are actually thinking about buying the MFG crosswinds or the slower pedals. We just want really good ones and the pedal mount is completely angle adjustable just have to loosen these two screws and as you can see you can fix it them fixate them <laughs> in every every place you want here yeah. you have to wiggle them a bit so the teeth they are in here are in place and then they are really good and it's hard. I like it. We just got the prototypes for the armrest for the flight seat. Armrest in. They are laser cut wood. And I think it's about what? 15 millimeters? Um, I think it's 15 millimeters. The black, uh, the black sides is because of, the, uh, because of the laser cutting. Um, for the first ones we are not doing any uh, coloring but maybe we will um, color them black, spray paint them or maybe we will even um, t make a little cloth or leather uh, on top of them. Yeah, they're a bit far apart at the moment. This one has to go has to go much more inside. The other one too. So uh, these armrests will ultimately be um, the mouse um, mount. So you have the joystick here. If it's right mounted, we'll do that uh, immediately. 
and here's the mouse mount and on the other side you have the throttle here and can put a, maybe an, an orb weaver or a little keyboard or something. A very little keyboard. <laughs> Yeah, oh, that's really cool. So I, I have to try that out now. Oh, wait, go, oh, oh, wait. So now the armrests are a little bit more to the inside. Perfect for me. And uh, I, I really like these armrests. Yeah, they're perfect for the throttle. We have to, split, uh, to fix the throttle here. And we just have a test mouse here. So um, with the center configuration. So you have the throttle and the center here, and you have the mouse here. Maybe we will do another armrest plate, just as a mouse mount, uh, with a, without the uh, cut here. So you have a little bit more comfortable position for the mouse. But I, I enjoy it. It's great. So let's switch the joysticks around and test it then. So this is a standard configuration with a joystick on the right and the throttle on the left with a mouse to the right of the joystick and on the left maybe a little gaming keyboard or a normal keyboard. <laughs>